He obviously uh, got better over the years. I'm proud of him. That's my brother. I'm proud of all my brothers. I love them. I'm, I love all my fans. You know, it's just it's it's been a wild ride. We are we obviously had our ups and downs, but it's about when you go up in, in March. So uh, I just I just love the school. I love everything about it. And let's go Browns. <laughs> in the work just like us. Um, we don't look at him like a walk-on. We look at him like a part of the team. Without him, I mean, I don't know, like, key chemistry I think would be off. Uh, uh, he, he works just as hard. He always asks us what he can do better um, to, like, for scout. Um, he puts in extra shots. No walk-on needs to put up extra shots. And he's in the gym with me, even with Dave, even on his own, putting up extra shots, putting in extra work in the weight room. I mean, he, he's just a part of this team, and I'm so happy that the, the, the student body and fans appreciate that and know that as well. He's a, he's a very hard working guy. I treat him like a brother. You know, he's, believe it or not, he's one of the ones competing with me in shooting contests and practice. He's always pushing me. You know, when someone steps out, Russ gets on the team, like we, we get happy. You know, we got an extra shooter on the team, you know. He puts in the hard work just like us, if not harder. You know, he's a, just a good, great guy all around. If I need something, he needs something. Like, we're always there for each other. Guys, uh, first, congratulations on defending home court this season so darn well. Not easy to do. Um, when you go back to that first half and playing from behind, what was kind of the spark plug to get you guys back in the game? And then obviously you dominated it in the second half. Um, I feel like the spark plug was uh, I told the guys, like, I was yelling at them. You know, they were looking at me kind of crazy. I was yelling, I'm like, this is our last home game. And it was just, it got, you know, quiet a little bit. And I said, like, we gotta, you know, we gotta step it up. We're gonna get embarrassed. We, you know, we gotta step it up. You know, I understand the senior night, you know, and everything. I mean, that's not the original starting five, so it might have been a little funk or whatever. But I told him we have to play through it. You know, we have to get stops together, put stops together, and uh, get great shots and do what we do. So, and we come from starting point guard at five foot ten, <laughs> Tiger Campbell, <Emerald. laughs> six, six foot one. Well, well. Can I ask you back here? Uh, did any of you talk to Jalen afterwards? I'm sure he's not in a, quite concerned right now. Uh, we'll, we'll just evaluate him tomorrow. We'll just take it back. There was a moment in the last, I think, 32 seconds where 
I was going to line and you guys kind of put your heads together a little bit. What was that moment like for each of you to kind of share this, this moment together and follow the village? It was a, it was a happy, happy, sad moment. But uh, when we put our heads together, I looked at Ty, we all looked at each other, you know, I can sense the, uh, it was just, uh, I think we just, I was going to the free throw line to shoot two. Um, and I think we just made eye contact and I was just like, it's been a long time, man. And like, it was just, it's a crazy feeling that I feel like only me and I make it with the experience. Yeah. But uh, it's just, this my, it's my brother right here and to go four years with them. It's been great, and so when I just looked over, and saw that we had a you know good chance of winning, it was just a breath of fresh air, and just looking around, and I just felt really good. It was it was good to go home or to leave out Polly like this. So. What did that mean? Um, <coughs> I think it was a uh, to me. I think it was we did it, but at the same time, we're not done. That's kind of how I felt. I mean, we, we did we did the regular season part. Accomplish what we need to accomplish. And just kind of looked them in the eye and just, we did it. And now we got to go on to the next half of this. To me, it's like a whole new season. It's like restart. Right? We got a whole new season. Sorry to cut you off. You can. Uh, <laughs> I bet you can answer this one. Uh, Joe Minardi has just bumped you guys to one seat in the West. What does that mean if you guys can get that? Um, you ask me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, means, it means a lot. You know, we, we don't want to. Uh, we're trying to stay away from traveling as much, you know. We want uh, we want our fans to be able to come to these games in the, the March Madness tournament. But we don't want to be able to travel as much. We want to uh, stay here, and practice here as much as possible. So once we see the West, uh, it'll be it'll be huge for us. So that's what it, uh, that's what it means for us. Tiger David, um, especially the way this game ended, the way Jaime performed, do you believe that Jaime should be the Pac-12 Player of the Year? Yes, he should be a Pac-12 Player of the Year. He, I think he should be National Player of the Year. All the Player of the Year awards, you know, we couldn't have uh, done it without Jaime Hawkins Jr. right here. Um, he's an amazing, amazing player, amazing uh, person. You know, he just does it all. When we need a bucket, we give it to him. And I'm just, you know, hey, if you need, if you need a shooter, I'm right here. But uh, yes, he, I, I feel like he deserves the award. You know, especially the way he uh, performed and carried us throughout the whole season, throughout the conference. Yeah, I just agree with what David said. You know, Jaime works really hard um, off the court, and we all see it. And um, I think all that is just coming to fruition. And you know, he's he's doing what he does in practice in the game. And we believe in him. And uh, yeah, I think he deserves to be a uh, factual player. This is a question for any of you guys. Do you feel better prepared for March than you have been in the last four years? Because the last four years kind of led to this moment for you guys. I think we're pretty prepared. Um, well, like I said, I think we got to just treat it as a new season. We still have young guys who have never experienced it before. Um, and I think a game like this was great for them to be able to experience this loud crowd. Even, even the away game was just as much. Um, I think they've got a lot of great experience so far this, this season. Um, and then, you know, but it all comes down to this Pac-12 tournament, and that, that's what we're looking at right now. Um, I think for, for one, for me, I've never been on a team where I felt like so confident in my guys that I have that if we need to get a stop, we'll get a stop. Like I've never had that confidence before in, in, in like the final three minutes of the game. And it, it's, it's crunch time and we need to stop. I, it's, I feel like we're one of the best teams in the country that can get a stop in crunch time. I just, I've never felt that way about a team, but I feel so strong about that. It means a lot, but at the end of the day, it's a baby step of our goal. You know, coach, you know, I was ready to spray when we country, I was ready to uh, spray water on the knees, and he said, "That's a, you know, that's a side effect." You know, we're, that's of our like, our main goal. 
So I feel like, you know, it's it's really it's a good thing, but it's just like one step towards our real goal is to cut the nets down. So that's why I feel like that is. Hey, Jordan, what's up? 